Okay, let's continue with our previous example where we were deciding on whether to build a small, a large, or do nothing. Let's say we could go ahead and conduct a study. Perhaps we could hire some consultants and they would maybe go out and do a survey and ask people if they would buy our product or not. And let's say that this study costs $10,000. So we asked the consultants, well, have you done a study like this before? And they said, well, sure we have. We've got quite a bit of experience doing studies of this type. And then we asked them, well, how, how's your record? And they said, well, we're not perfect at predicting the market, but what we do is we come back and, and give you a positive indicator, a positive thumbs up, or we say the market's likely to be negative. And then once we give you the result, positive or negative, then you can do with that information whatever you like. And uh, here's our track record. Given that there was a favorable market, 70% of the time we came back positive. So positive given a favorable market was 70%. 30% of the time we said negative given it was a favorable market. So you can see it's not perfect information. If it was perfect information, this would be 1 and this would be 0. But, you know, it's better than 50-50. Likewise, on this side, 20% is the probability of positive given unfavorable. Again, that's incorrect. This is the probability of negative given unfavorable. This is correct. So 80% of the time it was unfavorable, we had a correct prediction. 20% of the time we were wrong. Likewise, when it was favorable, 70% of the time we were right. 30% of the time we were wrong. Okay, so that's the information we've been given from the consultants. Again, the cost of the study is $10,000. In our next video, we're going to develop the decision tree for this situation. And what we're going to find out is on our decision tree, these are the wrong probabilities to go on the tree. What we need for our tree is the probability of a favorable market given positive, probability of an unfavorable market given positive, probability of a um, favorable given negative, and unfavorable given negative. So these are exactly opposite of what we need. So recall the Bayes theorem video. We said that whenever you, what you got is opposite of what you need, you can apply Bayes theorem to the situation. So that's what I've got here next. Let's look at this chart up here. First, a positive indicator. Okay, the state of nature. The original states were favorable or unfavorable markets. The prior probabilities of these original states, recall, were 50-50. Then we put our conditional probabilities on there, and you can switch these around if you want. Um, but uh, this is the probability of positive given favorable. This is the probability of positive given unfavorable. Now recall with the Bayes, what you do is you multiply the conditional by the priors to get the joint probabilities. So the joint, remember we said if it's a joint probability, there's an and between there. So this is 35% is the probability of positive and favorable. 10% is the probability of positive and unfavorable. If you add those together, you get 45%, which is the probability of positive. In the next video, we're going to see how we put these probabilities, well, that one on the tree. Then to get the posteriors, you divide. So 35 over 45 is 78, and 10 over 45 is, is 22. This column, the posteriors must sum to 1. So 78% is the probability of favorable given positive. 22% is the probability unfavorable given positive. And we'll see in the next video that that's exactly what we need for our tree. Likewise, down here we do the same thing, except now we're talking about the negative survey. So we've got the same original states, favorable market, unfavorable market. The same prior probabilities, 50%, 50% on these states. Then we've got our conditional probabilities. Uh, this, is, this is negative given favorable, goes on there. This one here, negative given unfavorable goes there. Multiply across to get the joint probabilities. 
15% is the probability of favorable and negative. 40% is the probability of unfavorable and negative. Add them together, you get the probability of negative. And then by dividing 15 over 55 to get 27%, 40 over 55 to get 73%. This is the uh, posterior probability, also known as the revised probability. 27% is the probability of uh, favorable market given negatives. 73% is the probability of unfavorable market given negative. And again, these then are the probabilities that we need for our tree. And they're exactly opposite of these conditional probabilities here. So that's why we needed to do Bayes' theorem. What we had was opposite of what we needed.